Today I'm going to be using magnets to build a railgun, but not to launch projectiles. I'm going to use the magnet railgun to launch a plane. Let's get into it. Okay, so the concept is pretty simple. What I need is a bunch of magnets. Where are they? Oh, they're in the gadgets tab, obviously. And I guess I just like stack a bunch of them together like this. I think I'm going to do two rows and quickly just connect them both together. And by sticking a seat down, we should have this thing. Oh, I almost forgot. I actually need to switch the output here. That means instead of the magnets attracting things, they will repel them. <laughs> this looks so like hypnotizing. <laughs> well, now that we have the prototype, we really need to test it. And that means we need to make some kind of plane. I think what I'm going to do is make an unpowered glider just to really test how far the magnets can actually launch me. Not too bad so far. I'm just thinking on how I really want to design the tail and the wings here. We got the main fuselage down. It's pretty simple. Yeah, I think it's quite obvious that I'm actually going to go for like a V tail design. Just like an F-22 or some kind of futuristic jet like that. Do you actually need to put this sensor in though? That sensor is going to power my hinges. Let's not forget to completely disable the uh, the output here and up the angle. Let's go for about 50 degrees on the angle. Oh, if I have a seat in the cockpit here, I don't actually need this the seat for the magnet rail. So I guess we just kind of push this plane back and we can just launch by detaching from some detachable blocks. I have no idea how this is going to turn out, by the way, guys. I have no idea how, uh, how effective this will be. <laughs> Ah, this is where we need a one by one block because I have this massive gap now. It's not a problem though, we can work around it. For example, I could just add these ship lanterns. Okay, filling in those gaps, making sure I disable the controls on these hinges. And what angle do I want these to be at? 40 degrees on the angle, there we go. All right, well, there we go. We have a pretty cool glider. Actually, I think those... I don't want to be that type of guy, but I'm going to be a little bit of a perfectionist right now. I think the angle's too high. Yeah, we're going for 20. There you go. That looks like a cool glider, right? I've got all my controls configured too. So we have pitch and roll. And now it's time to do some testing. I feel like I want to like launch like just off the side of the carrier. So I have like enough space to kind of just glide into the sea. Okay, well, here goes nothing. So if I hold that and release, oh, what happened? <laughs> right, well, I, I, need the, I need the magnets to stay on. So we're just gonna do a distance sensor, connect all of these little nodes. Can I, can I put this, can I spawn this properly, please? Here we go, let's see how this goes. Three, two, one. What? Wait, oh, I'm such a bozo. All right, well, third time's the charm. Three, two, one. Whoa! It launched me. But why was I so unstable there? Okay, second attempt. Here we go. Three, two, one. It actually works. Is there any way I can make that more powerful, though? Oh, that was a good launch. No way. Oh, guys, it actually worked. That was... I'm gliding. Holy smokes, that's actually so impressive. Well, my little prototype actually works. I think now what we do, guys, is experiment with how powerful can we make it. And also, let's give this thing a paint job. Now I have a paint job. Let's give this thing a save. I haven't actually saved it yet. And you know what? A couple more tests. If I can make the rail longer, pretty sure I can get more speed and momentum. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh my! All right, well, we have a pretty low success rate, I think. Actually, no, never mind. That was a pretty good launch. I think the glider is pretty well balanced. Beautiful landing. Look at that. We're in the sea. Can we float? Ah, uh, just barely float. <laughs> right, we're getting distracted. Let's get back to the mission. How powerful can we make this railgun? Do you know what? I feel like there needs to be some, like, magnets just behind of the glider. Kind of, like, really push it. Oh, we're actually filling it with magnets now. Look at that. And then maybe a few more magnets at the back. Kind of just give it, like, like really push the wings forward, you know? Why do I have a feeling I'm going to break this? <laughs> I don't know. I just have this feeling where it's going to completely disintegrate. All right, we're completely shrouded in that magnet particle now. So I think it's time for uh, version two of the railgun. Let's test it. Okay, three, two, one. Oh! 
Okay, that was quite silly. Let's try that again. I feel like I need to, like, bite the controls almost because it's just... I think it's trying to make the tail flip around. Three, two, one. Yeah, see? Damn it. Oh, it's so powerful, though. Like, really powerful. Oh, oh. Nearly? Okay, well, there's a, there's a little bit of a problem here, guys, because it's... I think I'm catching, like, lift instantly, and then it's just freaking out the physics. Like, look at that. Like, I'm doing a barrel roll, and then because I'm spinning, we're losing all of our momentum. So, how do we fix this issue? Maybe it is these mag- Maybe it is too powerful here. Well, back to the drawing board. Oh, I feel like if I just complete the rows here, like this, then... It should do a gradual build-up of speed. Maybe? <laughs> Why is it- Oh, no, never- Wow, look how powerful that is. Whoa, that really launched me. I was about to say, why isn't it working? But it, it works. Like I said, the success rate is pretty low. But, you know. Ah, oh, okay. That was really powerful. But we didn't quite make it to the mainland. My goal- which is quite ambitious, is to get my glider from point A, which is here, all the way to that little ramp over there, you know? That's actually a big distance. In our first attempt, we could get the plane to go around about this far, so about here, about halfway. So I'm gonna have to, like, science the hell out of this. <laughs> all right, okay, let's make sure we save it. Okay, fingers crossed, guys. Can we make it to the mainland? Three, two, one... No, we can't make it. <laughs> do I need, like, weight in the nose? That might be... Yeah, I think I do. It's gonna make me nose heavy, but I think the weight in the nose will keep me going forward, right? Three, two, one. Oh, okay. All right, we still have the spinny effect, though. So now we can just kind of cheat the system. We're using a gyro, guys. A gyro stabilizer. Let's just use the stabilizer for now instead of using gy uh, Oh, why is that not connected? Huh? Oh, there's a there's a gap underneath. My bad. So we're gonna use this gyro stabilizer to hopefully counteract the like rolling. And then we can really just focus on momentum here and just climb. We just need to climb with the speed and then glide all the way over there. Here we go. Three, two, one. What? Did I make the nose too heavy? Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I've made the nose too heavy. This is all about trial and error, though. Again? Again? You know, let's go just- let's just go back to the original. Lose the weight in the nose. Oh, there you go. I, it was the weight. It was the weight. Can we get over there, please? Oh, I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. The stabilizers completely messed up my roll. How far did we get? We got this far instead of getting to here. Damn, that's quite a long way to go, actually. I don't know if this is possible. There must be some way to get over there with magnets. Okay, well, now I've just added a gyro in there just to give me roll assist now. Oh, if I can just keep keep it stable. Wait, is it the aerodynamics? If I put those in front of the wings, that should make it a little better, right? Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. Finally, a good launch. A good launch, but we lost all the momentum because we went straight up. Okay, so now we have a gyro that should stop us from, like, pitching straight up. And, uh, obviously, we've already done our roll one. So, can this version of the glider make it? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. I messed up a little bit there. But, look how far we got. We got, like, just a little further. Whoa, that is a lot. Okay, here we go. Is everything connected? Yes, it is. I actually keep calling them magnets when they're actually technically tractor beams. But, oh, well. Who cares about the details, right, guys? All we care about is getting to the other side. Very nervous because this could just explode, you know? I think there's that much going on here. Like, look at that. Look how blue that is. All right. Well... Here we go. Can we make it to the island? Three, two, one. What happened there? Oh, I think there's some, like, collisions going on here, guys. Oopsie daisy. All right, um... 
Yeah, I see that? I lost the tail. I lost the tail there. It looks like I gotta be a little bit more strategic on my placements of these magnets. Oh no, we're not getting as far. We're barely making any progress. No, we lost all our speed. Okay, the only thing I can think of doing at this moment in time is zero drag. That's the only way I can physically make this thing go any faster, by removing the drag. I probably could have just gone with the fact that I was able to make a, a rail can launcher in the first place and launch the glider and take that as a win, but no, not here. We're trying to challenge ourselves today, apparently. Okay, the zero drag is installed. It should work now. Now we should have no drag on this glider whatsoever other than like drag from the bottom and the top of the glider. I have to keep this level. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, no, dude, that's it. We found it. I'm going to make it. No way. I'm going to make it. Oh, I've, oh, dude, I zoomed straight past. I don't even have any yaw controls. And my rolls isn't working because of my gyros. Look how far I'm going. No way. Oh, this is a breeze. There we go. I'm still going. I'm not even losing speed. I'm not losing speed. Like, it's not going down. Wait, can I go up? I go up. I lose speed, of course. Oh, my God. I think I just made an infinite glider. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just plop it there. Let's see how far we got. From the aircraft carrier, we've made it all the way over here. Completely quadrupling my expectations okay i think what i'm gonna do is add a key bind so i can actually take back control of the glider and here we go the final test we know we can make it now but all i want to do is land on the island we have to land over there and that's it mission complete three two one launch okay keep it level and then about now we take control back Come on, we need that checkpoint. Yeah! We got the checkpoint and a safe landing. Come on. Yes! Well, mission complete. We did what we set out to do today, and that is make a plane slash glider launch from a magnet railgun. How epic is that? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun today experimenting with this little uh, idea. It's actually an idea I saw on my YouTube feed. I think somebody made this in real life, like with uh, with RC planes. But if you have more suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comments below. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!